Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Reb Zev here and just wanted to say hello at least one last time before the week wraps up and the new week begins. Um, wanted to share a story with that happened a few days ago to me. Uh, I was just asking Hashem, you know, can you show me a little kindness today? Extra kindness. Hashem is kind to me all the time. He's not always kind in a way that I understand or that I even appreciate, if I'm honest with you. Uh, because many times I ask for things, what I think are simple things, and usually the answer is no, or not now, or wait, you know, whatever. Um, Hashem is always kind to answer me, though, so I will say that. Um... But I was just needed to go for a drive because sometimes I do that to clear my head. And also, to be honest with you, that's where I do the majority of my hit Bode Dut um, is talking to Hashem while I'm driving in the car because really that's easier for me. Um, so I'm, I'm driving and I drive for a long time. I drive for like an hour doing my best to talk to Hashem during that whole time, but also obviously paying attention to the road. And I come to a place, it's a pharmacy, and uh, I had heard that they had frozen yogurt there. And I also had it on good authority that it was actually kosher. And you have to understand that I live in a place of deep galut. Um, I, it's, uh, I can't even begin to explain it to you. Um, so I thought, wow, that, you know, this will be, if, if it's great, great. If it's not, maybe, you know, I'll get a coffee and be done. And sure enough, the yogurt was kosher, was, had a hexer and everything. I was, I was blown away and it wasn't too expensive. And so I got a little sweet treat. And, uh, you know, the amazing thing was, uh, I thought it was very kind of Hashem to arrange that for me and for anyone else who wants it. And then also the, the staff that worked in the cafe. So it was a pharmacy, it was a big pharmacy, and then it also had a cafe inside. And the staff wearing uh, their, their uniforms were these t-shirts. And it, and it just said, you are loved. So that's... You know, I was moved by that, really. And actually, some of the staff there understood kosher, and uh, it was really amazing to have this encounter with people. And just, again, their, their shirts that they wore as part of their uniforms, just T-shirts that said, you are loved. And so um, it was a reminder from Hashem that I'm loved. And you're loved. And we need those reminders all the time. I need them all the time because I have my own difficulties. Um, like I said, I'm asking for Hashem for some specific things all the time. Things that I really feel that I need, not just, oh, I want this or I want that. It's things that I need and uh, things that would be helpful for my family. And it's just nice to know that even in the downs, I'm loved, you're loved, we're loved. And that's the biggest part of, I've been talking about plan B all week. And that's a big part of plan B is remembering that you are loved. Uh, because uh, if you can remember that, it's going to be very helpful for you going forward. If you have a hard time remembering it, then I pray that Hashem will send reminders to you all the time. For me, a lot of times, almost all the time, it's my children. Uh, they're constantly coming and giving me hugs and telling me great things. And sometimes, like I said, I think that day my, my wife and kids were away doing something. Um, so I needed to go to a faraway place to find people wearing T-shirts saying, You are loved and giving kosher frozen yogurt. So... That's it for, for this time, guys. 
I uh, hope everything is great with you. I hope you have a beautiful weekend, a beautiful Shabbat. I hope the end of the week is beautiful. I hope the beginning of the week is even better and that we're continuing to move forward, not giving up because you're loved. Bye, guys.